Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is Marty, and welcome back to another episode of Essentially Thomcraft. So guys, what we're going to do today is all this crap. We've got all the Essentia tubes. I've got some filters, some filtered Essentia tubes, some buffers, a couple bellows, the Essentia smeltery, some <laughs> all, all kinds of good stuff. But we're going to build our Essentia sorting system, the automatic Essentia sorting system. So uh, automatic, oh no, that doesn't work right automatic sorting system the ass no we can't call it that right automatick essentia a e s s mm, i don't know just it, it doesn't have a ring to it but anyway so we're going to build this thing today and uh i wanted to show you guys up here what i want to do um up here i've moved my infusion crafting so i've actually worked on the uh, the, the, the tree a little bit, expanded it a little bit up here at the top and eventually we'll, we'll keep going up with it, but I've moved this here and then each one of these pieces of cobblestone represents a Essentia type. So we've got 37 pieces of cobblestone up here and this is how I'm going to organize all my, um, worded jars once we get them all set up and ready. Um, and then we're going to actually have to figure out a way to get Essentia up here and into the ward of jars. And uh, it's going to be pretty awesome. So down here, what we're going to do, right down here, um, I've also got 37 pieces of cobble here. Showing where all of the, the layout of my sorting system is going to be. So we're first going to start with putting all of our stuff right here. We're going to put the sorting system. The smeltery is going to go here. Um, I'm actually not going to build this on camera. Um, but I will do, I guess, like a mini tutorial on how to go. Um, but this will be all set up and then we'll have pipes going everywhere and it's going to be feeding the stuff. But let's go upstairs really quick and I want to show you just the basics. So this is like the tutorial part of the, of the video. So here's how I'm going to set this up. And this is going to be all completely modular. So we'll go like this. We'll do a couple more here. And then we're just going to separate each one of these up. So let's separate, 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 separate. So it's going to be on its own system. Um, and then I'm going to grab some filtered tubes, get those up here. We're going to separate these as well. So we've got this little C shape, right? And then off of this, we will end up with the Essentia buffers. So we go here, here, and here. Okay. So once again, we've got to switch back to the gauntlet, shift right click until it's the red one red one there and the output of this because our essentia is going to go from left to right we're going to make that one red that one red and then anything that we add past that we're going to have to have a red so the way that these things work if we placed a um, buffer down we had a pipe coming out here and here and here and here and even here no matter where it is if we grab our essentia resonator and check what the suction is here it's one it's a suction of one so this is trying to grab stuff with a suction of one and pull it all in to this buffer and hold it there until we tell it this one is our output right with the red so if we were to then go let's switch back to this and make this one red so we're still going to have a suction of one trying to go into it and then it's going to output so this is kind of like a suction of zero but the next one on it the next one over here would be a suction of one. So it's zero and one. So it flows that way, right? Got it? Good. <laughs> okay. So next up, we're going to take an arcane bellows. And if we were to put a bellows on this thing, let's break that pipe. And our bellows is right here. Now it's uh, giving it some more, some more juice. So let's check it out now. So now we have a suction of 32. So the bellows on here will allow us to pull something from a distance away. So we're going to use all that whole sec that that whole system with the uh, suction and the bellows, and we're gonna we're gonna make it do some cool stuff. So then what I would end up doing is putting our bellows here, and then putting this as like our input 
to whatever smeltery system we have going, right? So the next thing that we want to do is take, let's say we have Perdicio. I'm going to put Perdicio here. And I should have one with a label on it. And I think it's this one. That one's got a label. So you can see we've got five in that. And we've got 250 in that. So if, once again, we check this. Suction of 32. Okay. If we took and loaded up a whole bunch of Perdicio into this. And now we check the suction of this. It's 64. So when you put a label on a warded jar, it increases the suction by two. <laughs> you know, or by two, two times. So we go from 32 to 64. So that is one that's always going to be full. If there's ever anything in here, it'll suck it out and put it into this one. Okay, same thing goes for this one. This one will be up here. Ah. Sometimes these things place very crazy. All right, so this one is going to be right there. And now you can see that it's sucking out of this, and that's going into there as well. So when we want to get this thing set up the way we want it set up, we're going to use a, uh, a glass vial with Perdicio in it to set the filter. And then we'd have another different type right here and a different type right here and a different type and a different type and a different type. So these are all going to fill up all the time. Um, once they get completely filled up, then the Essentia will come through, hit this filter or buffer, and it will. these will be full 250 in each. And it'll be like, yep, can't put it in there, so it's just going to move on down the line. So when it moves on down the line, then we're going to have to find somewhere to put all of our excess stuff. Um, and you can also take a warded jar and just slap it in here, just one, and you'll get a void jar. So this could be something to, if you know, if you don't want to do anything with your leftover Essentia, you could take this, put it in here, and then we can load this one back up. Oh, I'm, I need a little more Perdicio. Do I have some? I just have one in that. Um, do I have any more Perdicio? Oh, yes, I do. Cool. All right, so let's switch this. Let's add some more. Mm. Okay, let's check the suction on this. That's 32 untyped because nothing's in it. Um, but then we can also get some... Where are you at? Right there. So that one will still have a suction of 32. Um, once this one fills up, though, anything that would come through here, if this is already filled and this is already filled, because it's going to fill this one first, and then it's going to fill this one because it's closest to the source, and then it's going to fill this one, and this would be our last one. So if that's filled and that's filled, then this one gets filled, and anything that goes into it after it's filled will just get voided. So this is going to be our basic Essentia sorting system, and I'm going to go ahead and get this thing set up and built down here, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy. But uh, I want to do this one a little bit different than in anything I've done in the past, because I want to have this to be like, I guess, like the main network, you know, um, and then we'll have some some spots for a sub network to work off of it. So. It's going to be a little interesting how we do it, and then we're going to have to transport Essentia up there and into those tanks um, or awarded jars that are going to end up being up there. So it's going to take a little bit of time, a little bit of uh, working. I was super excited, super nervous about trying to get this thing to work the way that I want it to do and for it to work flawlessly. So uh, it might be a little, might be a lot of cuts, actually. <laughs> so we'll see how far we get today, and I hope you guys enjoy. So here we go. It is time to unveil the Essentia sorting system. And uh, I made a change here. Before I had all my uh, warded jars up here filled with Essentia and stuff, but I'm gonna change that because we're gonna use a feature that Thumbcraft has with the mirrors, the Essentia sorting, or the Essentia mirrors. And uh, we're gonna use that to spit out Essentia into this thing as we need it. So anyway, there's that change. Let's go down here. And now I've got all of my Essentia centrifuges set up. This used to be an opening, but I figured, well, let's close that off. Four of them would fit perfect in that. And this stuff, as we sort, it goes into the buffer. 
And then if this thing gets clogged up, then at least this can store 10, 10, 10, and 10. So we can have 40 things stored up here, uh, little bits of Essentia before it gets sent down into the sorting system. Uh, I have changed all this stuff. I couldn't really find a good way. I wish this was like micro block compatible. So I ended up just putting some carpet. I'll probably end up changing the colors and stuff, but at least that's kind of hides stuff for the most part. Um, and I do need to get some more flux condensers down here. You can see it's like moving right now. It's doing stuff. Um, but down below, this is where the magic happens. This is the Essentia sorting system. So we saw the centrifuge stuff come down and over, and now it feeds into this with a directional Essentia tube. And then everything is forced this way. We've got the Essentia smelter set up here, just the way I had it. And uh, we've got a buffer up here that pushes stuff from here into this, and from this one into this, and then this one up and over because that's a directional. So everything will go this way and out and up and out. And then it goes into this buffer, which I have an arcane bellows on it because that will change our uh, suction to 32 right here. So it'll for sure grab from here and pull into this and push it in here. So if there's air, it is filtered, air will go into this. And you can see I don't have any void jars. None of them are void jars. Um, that is by design. And then we've got this one filling up. So we've got 250, 250, 250. So we can store up to a thousand Essentia in this system of each type. You know, everything keeps moving on. And then you want to make sure that in between buffers, the one that's coming out and going into the next one has the red on it. And if you guys remember how to do that, we just shift, right click, and it will do the stuff that we need it to do. So it goes around, fills up everything, fills up all the stuff, everything is filtered. And uh, one thing I would recommend if you're going to do something like this, before you start sending all your Essentia through, log out, close the game, start it back up, and take a look at all of your pipes again. Because sometimes you can get an issue, there's like a graphical bug, and uh, it will show it not connected, but it really will be. And then when you reload, you'll be able to see if there's anything that's actually for sure connected. So like go through and double check everything before you start running things through again. Um, over here, well, let's let's check this out. So we got to do some some additional stuff. I had a pipe coming out here, filling up some jars and then using that around to fill our uh, flux condenser networks. Um, but we can we can finish that up right now and let's go up and I've already built the thing. If we go into this one, let's just grab all the stuff. I've got the filling Essentia transfuser. So if we take this pipe and we slap this right here, right here, and let's come over, let's get it to about here, and then we're gonna point it down, and then we're gonna go this way. And then we're gonna just meet that up right there and right there that should work now let's grab some of these and well that one's full isn't it yeah that's a full one so let's see i'll grab you know what something i have a ton of is uh is feathers so let's grab some feathers and stick them in there yeah there we go that's got air and velatus all right so if we get the air and velatus in the system we can kind of watch as it goes through so let's throw that in there. You can see it's like starting to grab stuff. A lot of air coming through. We should be able to see it. There's the Velatus. Why is it stuck? Okay, it's not really stuck. It's just moving so fast I can't even see it. So Velatus coming through, coming through, coming through. All right, so it's not hitting him there. Now I do have a void pipe or a void jar on this one, on the Vidium. And I changed this up from the original design. I added a, the fourth one, um, but I've got this one labeled and this one labeled. So this one fills up first, this one fills up second, and then this one third, and then this one fourth. So there we go. It's just filling up here. It's spitting out of the filling Essentia transfuser and pumping the air into that. So around these things, you always wanna have a few extras just chilling and they can be wherever. You can stick them there. I'll, I'll, I'll end up refining that, maybe putting it up one higher. But where are you going now? Where are you going? 
Oh, look at that. It found that. So we've got it too close. This is like a 16 block. It has a 16 block range. And we're getting 45 into that. Okay. Let's uh let's wait for that to finish doing its thing. Are there any other empty ones? Yeah, we don't want that happening. So, let's move it over a little bit. Let's see if we can get it right here. And then see what happens. What you gonna do? Oh, it's still gonna go super far. What? Oh wow, it's like following that, coming down and around. Where are you going? <laughs> That's crazy. That's got some serious range. Holy crap. A little bit more range than I'd like it to. But yeah, um, I'll have to just move that even further away to get that to work. But let's turn that off for now. Pink. Okay, you're off. Stop working. Um, but you guys get the idea what's going on. Um, this will. This is super filled up. Yep, you know, everything's already cooked through. Um, and I'm just going to have to move this further away. Maybe I'll dig into this and put that thing right there. Um, but let's do a quick uh, check in our Thalmanomicon. And I want to go to Alchemy. Nope, not Alchemy. Oromancy? Nope. Artifice? Yeah, Artifice. Okay, Magic Mirror. So my Thalmanomicon provides some tantalizing hits that hints that mirrors have many mystical uses. All right, so we need an Ender Pearl and a Mirrored Glass, which is Quicksilver and a Glass Pane. So that one's easy enough. Let's go ahead and do a couple of these things. Mirrored Glass. So we need one of these and Quicksilver. And let's get this and this. In here, it's shapeless. It takes an Ordo Crystal and an Aqua Crystal, Crystal, <laughs> a Crystal, and an Ender Pearl, and now we can unlock the Magic Mirror. There we go. Oh, what? Oh, I didn't see what the extra thing was that we needed to do. So Magic Mirror is created with the Mirrored Glass, Gold Ingots, and an Ender Pearl, with Modus, Permutatio, and Tenebrae. Okay, let's go to the Essentia Mirrors. We just needed the Artifice Theory. Essentia Mirror is the Mirrored Glass, which is simple to do. Iron Ingots and an Ender Pearl. So let's grab a couple of those. A couple Iron Ingots. And let's see what it costs. Water, Modus, and Permutatio. So we're just going to go down and grab those things. Um... Aqua. I'm just going to grab a full thing of it. Aqua. Ordo, right? And Permutatio. P, 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 P. 40 and 8. Um, how much? 25. Oh, it was Modus, not Ordo. Let's put Ordo back. Oh! All right, Modus and that. Okay, that was Ordo. Let's get you back there. All right, we'll go up and we'll do our thing up here. And then afterwards, we shouldn't need it. We shan't need it. Uh, but we do need to make a couple of the these things. I'll make like four of them because we're going to have to do a couple. Okay, let's head up and let's get some infusion done. Okay, there it is. Modus. It's very stable. Aqua. And we don't have much of this. I'm going to have to mix some more of that up. Permutatio. And all the bits. There we go. Essentia Mirror. Time to make another one. All right, number two coming up. And let's see. We'll put that a little bit high right there. Okay, while that thing's doing the magic, we're going to take that other Essentia Mirror, that one right there, and take that one. And if I remember correctly, 
we link that to that and then let's come all the way down and this thing Ooh, what's a ooh, where should I put it I wonder if I can put it like right there no it won't let me put it there all right this would be somewhat centered too right let's try that so that should link it okay let's do another craft I'm gonna move all that stuff back down and then we'll see if we can do another Essentia mirror because we're gonna need one more okay let's go here and let's drop these all back off whoa <laughs> I love the boots of the traveler so I moved this thing way back here I had it one more like right there and it still reached all the way over here. I thought it had like a 16 block, you know, distance, but I feel like that was further than 16 blocks. All right, so that stuff, uh, Motus, right there, um, per, Permutatio, where were you? Oh, along the back, okay, that was the outside one. Permutatio, and then Aqua, and I'm going to grab some more copper and throw it in, I guess. Because I don't think we have enough for another. 15 plus 28. Yeah, we got enough for one more. But we're going to want to do more anyway. So I'm going to get some copper down there. We'll get that that filling up. And then we'll, we'll try it again and see what happens. Uh, copper is a good... That's uh, a good source of that stuff. There's not really a whole lot of sources for permutatio. And also, you know what I should do is make some kind of system, like a hopper system, where I can just, like, dump stuff into the smelting area from the top. All right, so that should give us 100-ish, right? All right, uh, where did that come from? Arcane stone brick. Okay, so we're good to go. Um, we want the mirrored glass... Right in here, we want iron and that. So, one, two, three, and this. And let's see. Everything should be coming out of that. Nothing yet. There it goes. All right, so we got the modus coming through. We got our aqua coming through. And we got a permutatio coming through. <laughs> there we go. So we got a uh, essential mirror there. And let's do one more. There it goes. Now everything's li linked up, so it's going to like grab it quickly. There we go. That's it. Essentia sorting system is now done. Hopefully I have enough permutatio in the system now. And we're looking good. All right, cool. There it is, guys. Game over. Now we need to get some infusion stabilization, and then we can start crafting all the stuff because everything is already set up down here. I can just pull with the mirrors. And then another mirrored thing that I want to do is, let's see if we can grab another one here. Uh, we'll just put that one right next to it. We'll link that with that. And then, I mean, obviously I, I need to move this thing around. But let's see. Can I put this? Where can I put this? Where it's going to really like do its job. Maybe right there. Let's see. Is that going to work? Oh, I don't have anything to, to go in there. Um, I don't think I have any ores. Nope. Let's go grab some real quick. All right. We've got the emptying Essentia Transfuser. So let's see. Can I put that on the top? Oh, uh-oh. Got it. All right. Well, me, yeah, there we go. All right, there we go. All right, so I got some ore. It's gonna grab from this. 
So I go right in there, and I kind of want to move that thing, so let's pull it up, and let's see where else we can put it. Essentially a mirror. Um, can I put it, like, right there? There it goes. Yeah, nice and close. And then we can just fill in this. All right, so actually, I should move this thing somewhere. Maybe I can put that, like, over here somewhere, and then I'll build another uh, thaumatorium. Or maybe here, another thaumatorium, just like the opposite of this, and I can do like other crafting that I need to do. Um, this one will keep as uh, as the chunks all the time. But yeah, it works. So there we go. All right, guys. So that's gonna wrap up today's episode. If you got any other questions on the Essentia sorting system, just let me know and uh, put something in the comments. But that is it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name's Marty. Signing out. Peace.